It doesn't matter if you are running a business, managing a team, or teaching a class. Leadership skills are important. Some people seem to be born knowing what to do to inspire and lead people. But for most of us, it doesn't come that naturally. Today, I share with you my top 7 ways for becoming a great leader. Hi guys, as always, it's a pleasure talking to you. And hey, if this is your first time on this channel and you like videos about self-improvement and happiness, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Hit the red button because I'm here to give you tips and strategies to achieve your dreams, unleash your true potential and live an awesome life. And hit the bell button so you get a notification every time I post a new video. Great leaders. Transformational leaders are usually described as enthusiastic, passionate, genuine, and energetic. These leaders are not just concerned about helping the group achieve its goals, they also care about helping each member of the group reach his or her full potential. Helping each member of the group reach his or her full potential is the most important and at the same time the most demanding requirement to become a great leader. A great leader is genuinely interested in each member of the group. A great leader lets each member of the group know that he or she cares about their progress. Luckily, leadership isn't always a magical gift, but a set of skills that you can acquire and practice. Here are seven ways you can practice to become a great leader. Encourage creativity. Intellectual stimulation is one of the leadership qualities that define great leadership. Followers need to be encouraged to express their creativity. Effective leaders should offer new challenges with ample support to achieve these goals. One way to foster creativity is to offer challenges to group members, making sure that the goals are within the grasp of their abilities. The purpose of this intellectual stimulation is to get people to stretch their limits, but not become discouraged by barriers to success. Serve as a role model. Great leaders, transformational leaders lead by example. They exemplify the behaviors and characteristics that they encourage in their followers. They walk the walk and talk the talk. As a result, group members admire these leaders and work to emulate these behaviors. If you want to become a better leader, work on modeling the qualities that you would like to see in your team members. So. Practice what you preach. Encourage people to make contributions. Let the members of your team know that you welcome their ideas. Leaders who encourage involvement from group members are often referred to as democratic or participative leaders. While they retain the final say over all decisions, they encourage team members to take an active role in coming up with ideas and plans. Research has shown that using a democratic leadership style leads to greater commitment, more creative problem solving and improved productivity. The worst thing you can do as a leader is to discourage your team members to take an active role in coming up with ideas and plans. Admit when you are wrong. It takes a strong, confident person to say they are wrong. 
Sometimes people think that admitting you are wrong is a sign of weakness. But in fact, just the opposite is true. The more honest and open you are, the more people will respect you as a leader. There is something about being human that makes us hesitate to admit fault. Even when it's obvious to us and to everyone else that we screwed up. However, what is easy isn't always right. In fact, admitting you are wrong can change the way others relate to you. And can make you a stronger and more respectable leader than you have ever been before. Earn respect. Earning respect isn't that difficult. All you have to do is conduct yourself in an ethical way and model what you expect from the others on your team. Show them you know where we are going and that you are not only telling them what to do, but also marching in step. Listen and observe. If you are determined to become a great leader, you will have to be the best at listening and observing. People express themselves with their manners, words, and body language every day. You can tell a lot about a person if you observe them. See what they are passionate about, what makes them excited, which tasks make them gloomy, and which seem to make them happy. Leadership is a privilege to better the life of others. It is not an opportunity to satisfy personal greed. I repeat, it is not an opportunity to satisfy personal greed. Give credit. It's not uncommon to see someone in a leadership position take credit for the work of others. But true leaders are generous with credit. They know that any great accomplishment takes many people and talents. Be quick to praise. Praise people often and openly. Yes, openly. Let others know when the work is well done. A job is completed with excellence and the results are great. But when it comes to feedback that's focused on development and growth, do it privately. I hope these tips help you become a great leader. Just try them out and let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. And please subscribe to my channel. Join this positive community. See you on the next one.